Hello Panthers, welcome to Community Middle School and our virtual open house. The following presentation is meant to orient you to the best of our ability without being able to see you in person. Hopefully the information contained within this presentation will make you feel more comfortable about the upcoming school year. My name is Kyle Schimpf and I'd like to start with a quick message from myself to you. Hello Community Middle School Panthers. Welcome to the 2020-2021 school year. My name is Kyle Schimpf and I am going to be your principal. I'm starting my 12th year at CMS and trust me when I say, this is certainly the most difficult and challenging year that I've ever approached as an educator. But what I can tell you is that I'm inspired by the work that I've seen this summer, not only by my colleagues, but by your teachers and staff at Team Community. We are ready for September 8th, we look forward to hosting you both in person and virtually. We look forward to engaging you in awesome learning opportunities while also keeping one another safe. I know that you're gonna have a lot of questions and I'm sure that there's a lot of angst about this new school year, but please trust me when I say you will learn it and we will get through this together. At Team Community, when we are faced with a challenge, we remind each other that we got this and that's because Panthers never back down. So I welcome you to the new school year, and I hope that you find all of the information that we're providing you at home before the start of the school year valuable. If you have questions, don't hesitate to ask. Otherwise, stay safe, enjoy the end of the summer, and I look forward to having you back at CMS. In order to get information about Community Middle School, you can go to the district website, click on Schools, and then Community Middle School. This will bring you to our main school page. You've already met me, but I'd also like for you to meet Mr. James. He is our other assistant principal. We do look forward to having a second assistant principal join our team soon. At CMS, you will have a lot of support, including the support of our school counselors. Mrs. Sabinski looks forward to welcoming in our sixth grade. Ms. Staffieri will work with the seventh grade, and Mrs. Burgess will see our eighth grade through their final year at CMS. We also have Ms. Evstathios, also known as Ms. E, who's our student assistance counselor and anti-bullying specialist. You will also have the support of some of our special services staff. This includes our child study team, Dr. Yaros, Mrs. Moret, and Mrs. Fisher, as well as speech and language therapists, physical therapists, occupational therapists, and more. This school year, our nurses are going to play a pivotal role in the health and safety of our children. Ms. Decker and Mrs. Johnson are looking forward to taking care of any needs you may have while you are at CMS. We all know, due to COVID-19, the ways in which we interact with each other have changed. At CMS, we will always be wearing masks. We will practice good hand hygiene, and we will maintain a social distance. Your families can update our school nurses with any medical needs that you have. This should also include all immunizations that are due after the 10th birthday and around the 11th birthday. You can find all necessary forms on the WWP website under Departments and Health Services. Please be in touch with Ms. Decker and Mrs. Johnson throughout the year. But that is just a small portion of team community. Do you want to know your teachers and more CMS staff? We are continuing to populate a Padlet linked on this slide where you can meet everyone who works at CMS. Please check back often as teachers and staff members continue to add on. The first day of school is right around the corner on Tuesday, September 8th. On that day, students in hybrid week one will attend school in person and all other students will attend virtually. The hybrid week calendar will indicate when you will be in person and when you will be virtual. Later in September, we will host our back to school night. This will be a virtual experience of pre-recorded videos. Everything will be made available on September 29th. Parent teacher conferences will occur in October on the 13th and the 14th. These conferences are teacher initiated, so be on the lookout for information from your students' teachers. Cycle one will end for sixth grade on October 28th. It will end for seventh grade on October 20th and for eighth grade on December 7th. On the next school day after those dates, you will begin cycle two. 
The marking period will end on Thursday, November 12th, and two weeks later, report cards will be made available to families. Due to construction in the front of our building, loading and unloading of students will look a little bit different this year. If you are taking a bus, the bus will come through the CMS bus loop and drop you off at door 11 behind CMS. Here you will enter through the thermal scanner and go directly to your period one class. If you are being dropped off by parent or guardian, drop off and pick up will be in the front of Millstone River School. You will use the sidewalk to go to door 17 at CMS where you will go through the thermal scanner and report directly to period one. All of the doors that will be used as entrances for staff and students will be equipped with temperature scanners. Here is a look at the schedule for this year. School will begin at 7.40 a.m. for everyone. Hybrid in-person dismissal will be at 12.10. Classes will be all virtual starting at 1.15 and then ending at 2.50. Attendance will be tracked as it always has been in Genesis. Please make sure whether you're hybrid in person or virtual that you're attending your classes. Student schedules will be released on September 2nd at 4 p.m. All students will be assigned to team classes. These are your core content classes. There are four interdisciplinary teams in every grade lettered A, B, C, and D. Each team will have approximately 100 students and some teams this year will be fully virtual. You will have academic teachers in math, IRLA, science, and social studies. They will see you for 85 minute blocks in the morning, as well as a 30 minute what I need period and a 30 minute flex in the afternoon. In addition, everyone will be assigned a world language of their choice. Spanish, French, German, and Chinese are all offered at community middle school. When you make your world language selection, this will be the world language that you will learn throughout your time at CMS. Students will also have cycle classes. This is a chance to explore a variety of subjects and learning opportunities, and it varies every year. This year, these classes will be all virtual. In grade six, you will have art, computers, health, life skills, and music for 36 days apiece. In grade seven, you'll include technology in your cycle and it will be 30 days for each cycle. In grade eight, you will have art, health, and music for 30 days apiece over a 60-day period. But wait, there's more. In sixth and seventh grade, you will have the opportunity to select out of our elective courses. In eighth grade, you will actually get two choices. These choices range from instrumental music to creative woodworking. Here you can find new interests or explore your passions. In addition, everyone will take physical education, so let's get active. All students will be issued a district Chromebook. This Chromebook will be the gateway for all instruction. Teachers will use Google Classroom to connect with you, as well as Google Meet and Zoom to host lessons. The fun doesn't stop during the school day. We intend to host a variety of virtual extracurricular activities this year. These experiences typically begin in October, so we will communicate options at a later date. We are also proud to host interscholastic sports. Unfortunately, this fall season has been canceled, but this winter and spring, you can look forward to basketball, cheerleading, and wrestling for the winter, and baseball, softball, lacrosse, tennis, and track during the spring. More information will follow when it's available. If you are interested in the extended day program, please find the EDP information through the Community Education website on the district website. It is on this slide. Please note EDP for the middle school is waitlist only at this time. With some of our students in school and some of our students at home, communication is going to be key this year. Do you need a question answered, need a resource, or looking for information? Always start with the district website. In addition, Genesis and School Messenger will be used to provide communications to families. Please make sure your information is up to date. In Genesis, you'll find your bus pass, student schedules, current grades and report cards, and through School Messenger, we will send school newsletters. 
You can always email your teachers using firstname.lastname at www-p.org. Report absences or late arrivals in Genesis or through TelSafe. In addition, we will post daily announcements to the Community Middle School website. Please click the daily announcement link on the slide. At Community Middle School, we cannot do this work alone. So let's take some time to meet the leadership of some of our parent organizations. Try to get involved. Become a member. Formed in 1985, AAPSG, the African American Parent Support Group, is a group which advocates on behalf of the African American students and students of the Black diaspora in the West Windsor Plainsboro Regional School District. We are a 501c3 nonprofit organization. All are welcome and encouraged to participate, benefit, and become a sponsor of AAPSG programs and activities. About us, for over 35 years, AAPSG's mission has been to work in partnership with the school district, parents, students, the community, and our local government. We work to create programs for students in grades K through 12 that will enhance positive self-esteem and promote cultural diversity in curriculum and instruction programs. We volunteer and work with local organizations such as Ronald McDonald House, TAS, Anchor House, Homefront, and arm and arm. What we do, programming to support student academic excellence, provide parent support navigating the school district, regular meetings, cultural awareness, AAPSG annual college scholarship, summer math enrichment program, AAPSG annual year end excellence awards. Us. You can find us on the WWP district website in the newsroom under the community link. And our email is wwpaapsg at gmail.com. You can find us on Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, and on our website on Weebly. For comments, questions, and to subscribe to our email notifications, you can contact us on our website at www.aapsg.weebly.com. Thank you and have a great school year. Community Middle School works very closely with its PTSA to ensure that every student is getting what they need. The PTSA supports tons of programming at CMS and is also another way that you can get informed and involved. Let's take a look at what PTSA can do for CMS. The PTSA cannot do anything that it does for CMS without your support, so please become a member and donate. We also serve a number of students who have IEPs and 504 plans. The SE PTSA, Special Education PTSA, is available for you. They offer a number of supports, other resources, and programming for your children. Please visit their website to learn more. All of our parent organizations and the WWPEA have come together on a Unity project. Please check out the online Unity store, which will be open until September 14th. Check your email for details. 
Please like them on Facebook at WWP Strong and on Twitter use the hashtag WWP Strong. Team community, let's get our WWP spirit wear. I speak for everyone at Team Community when I say we cannot wait to see you. September 8th is sure to be an exciting day as we learn how to navigate this new world together. Teachers are ready to greet you and orient you to CMS, both in person and virtual. Does your family still have questions? Don't hesitate to email us using the address cms at www-p.org. I hope that you found this presentation to be informative and to provide you information to get you excited for the start of the school year. We now present to you a virtual tour of CMS. Please enjoy. Hello and welcome to Community Middle School, where it is certainly great to be a Panther. This year, Community Middle School will have plenty of construction out front, so we have some new procedures for arrival and dismissal. Students will be entering CMS through door 11 for bus drop-off and door 17 for parent drop-off. Masks must be worn to enter the building and temperatures will be checked using thermal scanners. You will see signs related to all COVID-19 precautions throughout the building, including reminders to wear your mask, wash your hands, wait for assistance, and stay socially distanced. We look forward to everybody participating so that we can keep everyone at CMS safe. Let's take a look at what it will be like to arrive by bus. Buses will come through the bus loop, dropping students off outside of door 11 behind CMS. Students, this is where you will enter and go through thermal scanning. This year, students will be dropped off by their families outside of the Millstone River School. Let's take a look. Drivers, please follow the signs that will direct you to the front of Millstone. Students will be dropped off and then take the sidewalk back to CMS where they will enter through door 17. Let's take a look at some of our common areas, including the main office and the nurse's office. Mr. Schimpf, Mr. James, and our office staff can be found in the main office. Our nurse's suite is available for all students who just need well visits. There will be additional locations. Those locations will be in the back of the building. Room 710 will be transitioned into a screening space and room 711 will house any students who need quarantine prior to parent pickup. If you're in need of support, you can always see one of our counselors our counselor's offices are located in the sixth grade concourse. Now let's take a look at some of the hallways for sixth grade, seventh grade, and eighth grade. Sixth grade will be housed primarily in the annex and the sixth grade concourse, the 300 rooms. Let's take a look at the annex. This is the sixth grade concourse right in the middle of the building. Now let's take a look at some seventh grade areas of the building. The seventh grade concourse and the 200 classrooms are in the front of the building. The concourse itself is right in front of the media center.
For eighth grade students, the eighth grade concourse is in the back side of the building, again on the other side of the media center. We also have classrooms on the 700 and 800 wing, which is both downstairs and upstairs nearest the Millstone River School. Walk through this hallway and you'll find the 700 Hall. On both sides of the 700 hallway, you will find staircases. These staircases will bring you up to the upstairs hallway where you may have classes, including music and art. Though we may not have as many people in the building, classrooms will not look all that different. We have arranged desks to be socially distanced and then marked them so that both team classes and world language classes will know where to sit. Let's take a look at some of the other common areas here at CMS. Our former main entrance will be closed off due to construction. This is our commons, typically our cafeteria. Here's the main gym. And here is the CMS theater, also known as the auditorium. No matter where you are this year, remember that we are team community. This school, whether you're in person or virtual, is still your home. And we truly do believe that diversity creates community. You'll see throughout the building that there is plenty of artwork, all student made, that is connected to the concept of team community. We know that a lot of these spaces are going to look different, feel different, and be repurposed while construction is underway. But still, we know that you will enjoy your time in our halls and virtually at school. So for those who are going to be joining us in person, we sincerely look forward to having you in our building. And for everyone, welcome back, Panthers.